So Chekimus left it function here. This is where I used to go dirt bike riding. Chekimus late for service crew. Side? I guess so. Okay, well, here we go. I see. Uh, All right, so we are in the trees here, on the ice and snow, and slowly making our way. I suppose. Looks like it's getting pretty fresh. Yeah. Let's start that over again. All right, Phil, is this where we're gonna do it? Yes, sir. All right, we got the fresh frozen in the ice, the bubble bag's over there. We're going to be mixing up a batch here in the beautiful Chequemus River. We're right next to it, we're just south of Whistler. We're about to whip up a fresh batch of My Little Pony with John B, so stay tuned. Water? All right, we're gonna go get water. Over there? Yep. We're gonna throw a bed in there and you can grab it. <laughs> yeah. I go that way. Dude is a machine. Just half full is even good so it's not too heavy for you. Cool. Beautiful, cold, chilly, glacier fed water. Phil's got it. I'll come grab one with you. Cool. Just gonna show him the creek real quick, the river. Bubble bag kit, five gallon, about to go in the bucket. Phil's just collected a bunch of water from the Chequemus River, which is extremely cold, I can assure you. We brought up a cooler of our own ice, and John was kind enough to cut My Little Pony down. My Little Pony! Yeah, My Little Pony. Here comes My Little Pony right now. What's up, Come Oreo? Up All right, so we're making bubble. Oreo's helping. We're on this. All right, so we're going to start with the 25 micron bag. Let's get it in there. You know what, I'm not even going to worry about flipping the bags over the edge right now. We'll leave them open like that. 25. 45. They're always in a row. Number white. Number white. 45? Yes. Once again, number white. Color, 45 micron. 73. It's uh, nice to have both. My hooker jack is so thick that when I put my arms in the bucket, I push all the bags into the bucket. So we'll see what kind of success rate I actually have doing this. Might have to do a little outside the bucket trick. Nice. I like that. A little way to speed up putting your bags into one another. Uh, let's get the orange one first. Let's do the order proper. You want your 120? Oh, you don't want to mess that hash up. Oh. 120 is a nice grade. We have the 160 bag, the orange bag, specifically to secure the quality, well, the purity 
of that bag, the 120. bag. Get these bags in here nice. I know a lot of you are looking at me like I'm an alien right now because you've fiddled with your bubble bags for half an hour at a time trying to get them all Even to the fit bucket. inside one another nicely. Oh, this weighs a little quicker. Which is uh, where we're going to run out of time again as always. Light. So not like we're in a huge rush but we wanted to make sure we did some bubble making today somewhere cool, like we mentioned we would. In we go. Yes, in we go. And if you really want to, you can do one by one. Pop them down. Do your, yeah, you know, if you really want to get those all down and tight, it does secure them nicely. It's never a terrible idea to do. We have all the tools here for doing our extraction and stuff like that. We've got our spoon for uh, mixing everything up. And we got our trusty little uh, bag over here. In this bag. We've got some bigger spoons. Yeah, I figured we could all give it a shot hand stirring it. We're obviously not going to be bubble nowing up here in the electrical free zone. Yeah, electrical free zone. No. Outlets. We got our spoons, pulling our bags, got some bigger spoons. Wrong. We're going to make sure the pool's dry here. Alright, so, I'm going to pour a bucket of water in here. Look at this nice cold water, wow. Let's get some ice in there. Good ice, eh? Right? Great ice. Let's use about half that bag. Actually, let's put some fresh frozen down first. Here, I'll hold that for you. Yeah. Hold that for a sec. We've got our rest in there too, but... Uh, yeah, show them that. Oh. Fresh frozen. Fresh frozen. Look at that, guys. And what do we have, about 400 grams there, John? Yeah, roughly. Well, we make a... Alright, yeah. so normally I would uh, actually use a vegetator to grind all this stuff up in here. <laughs> but because it's so fresh, we're just going to freeze it directly in that ice. Yes. Here we go. Let's put a half in it up. Here we go. Uh, all right. We're not going to break this up a little bit. There you go, yeah. There's half of it. It's pulled away a little early, but that's okay. Early, early. We get all that niceness off of there like that. Actually, let's go for this one. Oh, we brought the good ice. Yes, we did. There we go. Alright, hold that. We go the rest. Alright, we go. nice. I think this one's pretty low to the top. And this is how we wash our pots. Yes, we're getting it all nice and filled up. We use a ton of ice. And a wooden spoon, the old school method. I haven't done this way in quite a while. Uh, I usually use the bubble now. I think we use the paddle. We did use the paddle on we the boat. Paddle. Now, we don't want to leave this in the water for too long. So I'm just trying to reconstituate it, get the buds like really worked in there so they're not all floating up to, to the top. We have tons of ice in. So what we'll do is we'll probably work with two or three spoons for approximately 10 minutes, five to 10 minutes. And uh, we'll eventually, once it gets a little more mixed, we'll be able to do a nice mix. And once again, the ice is doing two jobs, keeping the water cold, and knocking off the glandular trichome heads from their capitate stalks. So you can smell it, it's just absolutely... Aromatherapy. Yeah, aromatherapy is right. Nice and strong. Let's 
see what we got here. The best part about this is actually uh, watching my resin being stirred in ice and water and knowing that great medicine that I'm going to get from the end of this product is quite amazing. Which of course you'll be seeing pictures with Mark always does. But uh, well, we're getting that color change in the ice already. We're starting to see the color change in the water. Getting a little excited. We got some ice falling all over the place. As Great. long as it's not buds. <laughs> no, the buds will be falling off the ground. They get thrown back in at the blink of an eye. So if you blink, you might miss something here. Right, wow. A little bit more melty, so now there's more room to it's actually summer. mix the material up. We really want to hear that ice bashing back and forth because it's going to be working those trichome heads off there. And that river in the that background is body. actually giving us that incentive to keep working it. Wow, look at that. Yeah, it's bringing it all back. What do you think, Ed? Lovely. Lovely. Out here on the side of a river at Whistler. Perfect. Enjoying some lovely... Uh, uh, give me one of those. Nice Perfect. Yeah, so really beautiful zone to be making bubbling once again. Keeping this river coming down. I guess from Black Tusk. Is that where it's... Yeah. Tusk word. Really sweet. It's a little bit different from the bubble now, of course. With the bubble now, we get a better mix. I always noticed that with some of the other uh, rugs that I've ran in the past and stuff like that. But, uh, I mean, this is old school method, and uh, this is the way it all started, right? Yeah, absolutely. The old hand stirring. You know, first first time I ever made it was with an actual cake mixer. <laughs> and we used to use a little cake mixer, and then halfway down the way, we just sort of figured out, you know, Maybe gentler is better. We took a Bashing it up too much. And then we got the spoon and the, I found the spoon was like if you mixed it too little, you didn't do a good enough job. If you mixed it too hard, you did too much of a job. And it was actually a little bit of a trick to get the spoon mix perfect. And that's when I came out with the bubble now where a friend of mine called me and said, you know, have you checked these units out? I looked into them. I used it a couple times and I found that it basically made like a perfect hamster batch every time. So perfect hamster batch every time. But perfect we got a perfect hamster batch going on right here, my yeah. friend. Yeah. I'll yeah. take over whenever you're ready, Phil. Yeah. Yeah. It's best to uh, just do like a minute or two, you know, and stay nice and fresh. Well, well, of course, the material after I want to keep, I'm going to do the second run with it. we got a great amount of ice in here, I'll tell you that much. And may it be at zero degrees right now, it's almost stone with the crop here, it's in between. I guarantee everything's staying nice and cold here, which is great. We don't get that opportunity too much. But actually you did uh, up in uh, Nelson there. Yeah, I did a little bit of this out in the snow. This is obviously more like my own backyard, so it feels pretty good. I've, I've played around in here for 20 plus years on my dirt bike, you know, just up the mountain on my snowboard and sled, just across these streets, so it's pretty neat to be off the plan. whipping up a batch in the playground. Are we still on record there? A little button in the top right? Cool. Good to make sure, good to make sure. Wow. It is a little wet. Oh wow, the smell from that right now is just amazing. I just got the nicest John, whip. Give it a little whip. Uh, a tiny stir from the man himself. He grew the resin. Isolated the heads and he loaded the bowl. Oh, nice. Wow. Just pass it over when you've got a good amount. I got this rhythm going. A minute or two is good. It's medicinal making your own. He who makes his own hash heals himself twice. Uh -huh. Take a sip that resin. Oh yeah. That's the best part about it. Love the golden color you got in there. Okay, I'm gonna pass off the steering stick here. Yeah, perfect. That's why I like to use the bubble now machine because my back and stuff like that, so it's actually a little bit more convenient for me. Personally, it takes uh, 
takes the heavy work out of it because this is really the only work that you're doing is just mixing with the ice. So if you're having problems mixing, get yourself a bubble now and uh, really that's all the work that's needed in making the fresh frozen. Other yeah, than the, actually growing the resin. But. Yeah, and then of course the drying is really the tricky part. Well, that's the part you want to watch the videos over and over again. We talk about that a lot on uh, water extraction and heat dry shift on uh, Facebook with the floor. Yeah, both of those. Team dry sift obviously more for the dry sift, but uh, drying uh, techniques, both water extraction and drying techniques page on Facebook. We definitely talk a lot about that. So yeah, water extraction and drying techniques on Facebook is uh, a great place to learn and um, also uh, understand your medicine. Well, I'm really glad we stopped and did the batch. Oh yeah, we, we've been trying to do this. Have a seat. Good. Yeah. So I'm gonna have a seat here and uh, pay Watch attention. Watch stir the medicine up. When you're doing a hand stir, generally I'll always do it for more than two or three minutes. You know, I'll do like five to eight, even ten minutes. Because you notice when we're hand stirring, the stirring happens for a bit, then we stop and pass the spoon. That, that, that time doesn't count the way it does in a washing machine when it's constantly mixing it back and forth. It's great. Break this butt up here. Sopping wet, fresh eddies. Look at that. This came off the stock like a nice cooked salmon. Just nice, but you know, taking a nice mug and the yeah, really smoker. Okay. Get the smoker. Try to the smoker. Such a beautiful day here in British Columbia. Man, the roar of the river behind us, which is why we're trying to pretty much yell so the camera can pick our voices up. Got it? Sure. Championize me. Go G, bring up that nice breath. Can I grab this bug and just bring up those big cars? Yeah, I see those big cats. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's already getting broken up. That's what we're talking about that ice. Oh, oh, breaks everything yeah. up. Oh, we're getting there. Oh, wow. oh yeah. Oh, see how sticky that is? It's yeah. water. It's <laughs> the water it's, sticky. It's water. We're losing all the sticky ice, too. Well, we definitely have a great cold temperature, I'll tell you that much. Oh, the ice is barely melting. Yeah, that's good. Right? Yeah. A little different than making hash on a boat, eh, boys? Yeah, I love it. I love making hash everywhere. Chalk up one more cool spot, I've made hash. On the side of a river in Whistler. Very cool. For me? Epic. <laughs> And for us, until March 31st, all three of us, we're legally allowed to do this. We've got our licenses, we're federally exempt, we don't go rubbing it in people's faces, we go to quiet, remote places, but we're allowed to isolate our medicine here in uh, British Columbia, thanks to Owen Smith uh, in the uh, Regina versus Smith case of edibles in Victoria, where they want the right to use THC in any of its in any of its forms, concentrate or otherwise. Just like the Constitution says. Whoa! Wild man here! Where is it? Alright. We're gonna pull these bags real quick and see what we got. Hold it. All right, so we're back after mixing. John's still mixing, for whatever reason, I'm not too sure. Because it's my resin. <laughs> so we're gonna pull this blue bag. Oh my God, does that smell good? Holy Christ, that's a lot of ice. Here, um, I'm gonna put it in my. Yeah, yeah I know. I just figured to carry it over there, just in case we collect any resin. We're gonna put this in here. Right? Just carry it over there. Dump your bag. Now we've got, you wanna hold this one? We've got the 160, 190, sorry. 
It is very, very small, which is okay. Looks pretty good. Wow, look at the water in there. Yes. I'm going to let this sit here first. Yeah, it's pretty good. So I'm putting this in here because I'm going to have to do a second run of this later. With all the nice controls in the week on it. How's that? Alright, so try to scoop that up with your spoon. I'll be taking this because that was just so darn convenient. I'm going to walk all the way like this. No, 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 no. Jesus, John. Holy Moses. That was the scariest thing. He just took the dirty leaf covered bag. And I didn't touch it. Oh no, you did okay. Wow. Oh, Moses. Hey, try to walk. Try to stay on either side of the camera. There we go. All right, that was a bit scary. I'm not going to lie. Mild heart attack there. Thank God it's only the 160 bag. There's a lot of leaf in it from the bag that you dropped in it. I don't think it's just... Oh, well, then what, what do you think? Oh, yeah, no, 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 no. It's full. Full leaf. But it's just your 160. So it's not the end of the world. Wow. You want to pay attention when you're making bubble. I, the, the first thing I said, funny enough, was let's not look like yahoos while we do this. And he flips the 220 bag inside out and goes to dump it into our bubble bag. To clean it. Like, Whoa. Oh. Yeah, that would clean it all right. Look at the resin. It's covered in leaf. Do you want to do that? Yeah. All right. You're putting it in the separate pressing screen each time? Yeah. Let's try to do this, John. Hey, John. Let's keep you, right now you're blocking the camera. <laughs> Let's keep you right here, and we'll keep Phil right here. If say he and you can pass me that, and I'll exactly. put it Exactly, we'll kind of do it that way, and we'll keep the camera open. Okay, so Phil's gonna clean the 160 bag. It got a little bit of leaf in it, which won't be the end of the world. I'm gonna pull the 120, and possibly uh, pass it over to John. Do we have another bucket? That has to be hung, that bag. Uh, and that bucket has to be taken out, because we need it. Ideally, for future references, we don't want to put the bucket on the dirty ground because it may contaminate the bag. So, could you open the box? Well, well, the best way for me to do is pass me that. Yeah, here, you get it on the spoon. Perfect. Pass it over to John. I'll get you to hang that one over by the blue bag. That's good. Yeah, that's great. That one, I'll take this one. Oh yeah, we're working together. We've never actually, the three of us, made bubble together, but it's not a super overly complex process. The important part is, is that you rinse a bag in water after you've made bubble with it, and then you hang it. So each of these bags will be cleaned in water. There's a little water right here. We might be able to pour some of that on there. You might be able to dip it right there in the puddle, this one. Yeah, right on the top of that puddle. Kind of give it a little dip. It's very important to clean the bags immediately after using them. We are in a colder environment, so we've got that working in our favor. There's not going to be, uh, if it was really warm, the bubble would melt fast on the bags when you took it out. This 120 looks amazing, like unbelievable beautifulness. Wow. Oh, look at that, you. you. Look at that, you. Can I get it with your spoon, John? Oh, I do. That's ridiculous. Beautiful. Very nice. Hashtag why spray taint. Ha hashtag why spray taint. You heard it from Phil. You want to get the rest of them? I brought that way. Yeah, hang this up there. Yeah, hang that up over there and then come back and we'll do this guy. One of my funnest places I've ever made bubble, hands down. Wow, I don't want to put that back there, but look at that. Oh, that's the left of that 120. I'll grab it this little bit. I'm excited about the 90. You should be. It's slow draining. I just want to keep it open. There we go. Alright, alright. 90 coming up. Nice and slow draining. Looks white, like the color of the screen.
to have a little bucket like this to be able to uh, flip the product inside out. Wow. Look at the color. Look at the color on that. Real nice color. You want to pull that off? Clean it up with this. Scoop it. Clean's real nice. Some real nice fresh netties. We still recording? Man, I'll tell you, bubble hash making is inspiring. It's something that you don't have to do inside a shitty basement or, or down in, in, inside your house anywhere. You can get out and actually do this in nature. You know, this is something that's kind of nature friendly. I'm sure if people drove by right now, not that there's really many places to drive by, they might be concerned as to what we were doing. But upon quick examination of the situation and the safety of of it all, can you rinse that? Actually, you know what? We're going to rinse this one in the 73 just a little bit quick, collect any of those lost resin heads, and then we'll get them to rinse it in the, we're actually using glacier puddle water just here <laughs> on the side of the, uh, on the side of the mountain. 73 time. We don't have any bad water but Yes, many, many hundreds of batches will do that. Wow, I love the size of these buckets. These are real great buckets. I'm gonna, gonna start promoting these for sure. These are working great. Cow's ice cream in Whistler. Yeah, perfect. Cow's ice cream. Keep it foam, no problem. There we go. I'll tell you, quality resin cleans up, like you can still get the last little bits, guaranteed. And one more. Perfect. Perfect. And it's already hard on the surface. Two more bags, we got the 45 and the 25, these are slow draining bags. Unless you know the technique, <laughs> then they're quick draining bags. Always inspired to make some lovely bubble outside. As always, the 45 has painted the entire screen, covered it. How's that for a, a yield? Alright, scoop it up from the bottom. Yeah, exactly. Beautiful smelling resin for certain. One more bag, the 25 micron. We're not going to be drying it here. We're going to take it, freeze our patties that we get, and we'll be taking them back uh, either to John's or to Phil's and uh, powderizing them into boxes and getting them ready for the dry. The desiccant wicking out the hash, uh, the moisture from the outside of the hash, allowing the glandular trichome head to be dry, in which case now you can cure the head let it shrivel up like a raisin and let that wax membrane dehydrate. All right, keep that in there. Perfect, that'll be a quick rinse. 25 micron. And I'll tell you, make a bubble with three guys is nice and quick. Whip this batch off in no time flat. Quick technique with the uh, 25 micron. I Lift it up real quick, lifting the resin off the screen and allowing the water to rush through. That uh, makes for a much quicker drain than what some of you guys have done in the past. I've heard some funny stories of people telling me how long the 25 micron bag took to dry or okay. drain. Yeah, I heard 36 hours. So. Yeah, that'll happen with quality resin like this. 25 micron, still a little bit of water, but still. With this technique of lifting the bucket, it seems to suck the water out as well. There we go. I have a screen to put that on, baby. Right here. Uh, that's past me a spoon. Just a 
stainless steel spoon. And once again, if you could, you know. John's having a hard time getting that one today. We're wearing these big jackets, and if we turn our yeah, backs to the, the camera, the, the, the whole, whole screen is already taken out. out. There's really no spot to put that right now. I'm just working it. Oh, It'll be fine. I know. Look at that. That's a that's a dirty little one. See? Put your chest there, John. No problem. We'll get a spot for it. No, I don't want that contaminating all my food. This isn't contaminating, and it won't touch any of that if you have oh. trust in the guy that showed you how to do this. This guy knows how to do it. I'm gonna do it. Right now, I'm just working the resin over top of the screen and getting it a little thicker because right now it's quite a quite a bit of it is foam. It's not an actual bubble taking up more space than it needs to. So hence running into my perfect 7390. We won't have it. It's not gonna happen. We will not have it. And we're actually getting a natural rain spray that's falling down on top of this. A little bit of snow. Yeah, a little bit of snow. Very nice, very nice. Okay, here we go, let's see. So here, no, 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 no. I'm not putting it anywhere in there. I have a second pressing screen. We're going to push down on top of this screen. Therefore, there will be zero contamination. See? This is why we got to listen to the guy. All right. No contamination. Spoon. Two. Okay, rinse. Pass them over my uh, hip leather jacket. Beautiful, hashy water into the creek. Boy, the color that was awesome. That was beautiful. I hope you guys saw that. Look at all this ice we got going on here. Oh my god, that's all I can smell. I, I can still, like, that's all I can smell right now. All right, putting those bags away. I'm comfortable. Well, that's what we like to see. I'm just gonna put my back to the camera right now. And uh, yeah, we'll give you a quick little peek of what we've been doing here. We've got our bubbles here. Beautiful colors, oh my goodness. We'll get back with you when we're inside, we're out of the rain, we've got all our gear put away. And uh, yeah, thanks for coming out and watching us. Here in beautiful British Columbia, John once again. Hope you a good time. Always. Phil, always. thanks Phil. for joining us, man. It's always nice to have good friends yeah, coming up with us. Well, John, yeah. pleasure. Always a pleasure. All right, catch up with you guys soon.